Hello everyone, I'm back with a different video today and in today's video I got this nice cool gadget this is a smart weather clock and I really like this one I had one before and I wanted to get another one this is really neat I'll leave the link in the video description if you guys like it I'm gonna review this one a little bit and show you guys uh, how it is and how simple it is maybe you guys like it and you purchase your own uh, it comes with a little manual with a QR code you can scan to see how it works with the manual. So pretty much you get that. And in here they will send you with a cable, USB-C cable. In the picture it said that they gave you a USB-C with a 90 degree angle USB-C, but this one is like a straight cable. In here you get this really light, really super lightweight plastic case with that screen display in the front. I do not how big is this display. It doesn't say it. I think it's one inch, inch and a half probably screen. Let's measure it. The screen on this one, it's two inch screen. No, um, yeah, it is one and one and 1.5 inch. So it's a 1.5 inch screen diagonally. And this is pretty neat stuff. I'm gonna open it up to see inside of it, but I see that it vent holes in here. So let's connect it up right now. I'll connect to any USB charger and we're gonna plug it in. It says, don't worry, open your phone, click on Wi-Fi. But before I did this one, let me, let me try again. Oh, look, there's a Windows load up screen, splash. That's pretty cute. I doubted that there's a Windows, I think that's just a splash screen. And it says connect to the Wi Fi and Geek Magic Copyright V3. So, and it says, don't worry, open your phone, connect to the Wi Fi, and it tells you the name, GFP, and the order before you can connect to it with this IP address. So, I'm going to use my phone. I'm going to open up a browser. Oh no, I got to connect to the settings, Wi Fi. Let me see. Yeah, I see this one here, GF TV. I connect to that one. Once you connect it to that thing, you want to open your browser. You want to browse to that IP address that it tells you. So in this case, ooh, actually, it took me right through here. Once I open the browser, I don't know if there's an English, it's a language, Korean, English, internet configure. So you can configure the Wi Fi, you can click here. So you can connect to your Wi Fi to get the weather station and stuff. You put the SSID and your password. You can do that auto scan. You can scan your Wi Fi in here list and you can connect to it. It gives you oh, pretty nice. You can go back and set the city location for example input soul or city code or co this is pretty good you can put an animation in here a spaceman uh, clock color minute second you can change the brightness it is pretty bright right now update successful and it is almost turned off and there we go there's a night mode for it. It says it start end time when you want the night to finish up. So you can at night it will be a little dimmer. You can connect to a different server to get to your time zones, I believe. Unit format, Celsius, Fahrenheit. You can change that too. Pretty good for wind speed. It gives you kilometer miles and MS meters, I guess. Atmospheric pressure, you get different measurement. Now you can save that one. Oh, it also has an API key, weather key, you can play, put in that. Delay Wi Fi connect, daytime saving times, reset, reboot, firmware update, you can do an update too. Choose your files. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I like it. Uh, it is very nice to have it in the washroom or maybe on the side tables. 
I really enjoy having this around the house. It's pretty cool. So the configuration is pretty easy and forward. So let's cancel this one. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna disconnect it and we're gonna open it up to see what's inside and what is it made out of. So I'm gonna grab myself the screwdriver set, Phillips number one, and I'll grab a tweezers. So I only see there's a two screws on the bottom, so I'm gonna remove these tiny screws in here. So I'm guessing if I remove this one, we should slide out. So let's see. Oh, there you go. So I can just slide it out. Pure plastic tube. And it is empty. There's a Wi Fi board in there. The screen is loose. There's nothing in here. So I'm going to open up the LCD jack. And I'll pull back the LCD. So there's your tiny LCD here. Pretty nice. And there's a board with no electronics on this side except that single jack and the charge port. In here, there's a Wi Fi module. And I see a transistor in the corner and one tiny screw. So I'm going to remove that screw and slide out the board. There's nothing else in here. So we got the board on this side, a USB C jack. Flex connector, there's nothing else. In here are transistor, capacitors, another transistor, and the Wi-Fi module. I'm guessing inside this module, there is a memory chip in here that you can program it. So pretty neat. So pretty much you paint just for this one. It says robot, ttr at foxmail.com. It's pretty neat. I don't like so I don't know what they have the vent for because there's no fan or anything like that. So you slide it back on, just put it in there. Now put the tiny screw in the corner. There's only one screw. So I can get it in there. Very cool gadget to have around the house. So I'm gonna open up the jack. And we're gonna slide this connector right underneath here. And we're gonna lock it up. And we are gonna slide it right through here. So pretty much you're touching, there's no protection here. Going it straight to that thing. So, and next thing is to just put this screw right over. And that's it. Pretty nice gadget. I highly recommend you guys to grab yours. Pretty nice to have around the house to know the weather. And it looks pretty neat. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to choose yours. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.